We cover 20 counties in West Tennessee. Uh, we provide maintenance on the rivers and streams and wetlands. Uh, we've got 108 lakes uh, that we do for flood control and sediment control. Uh, we do special projects like this one uh, at, at the White Oak WMA. We're redoing the, the hydraulics and hydrology of the site. Uh, and basically what that is is where we've had a canal system that has been overrun with sediment historically. Uh, we have some opportunity to go back to natural meanders and open up the floodplain. And what it really boils down to is we have an excess of sediment. It's going to end up either above the project in somebody's field or disperse naturally in a floodplain how it normally does. So we picked that natural option. This project was, uh, we started the design probably around 2017, but we've been doing maintenance in this area since 2007. Uh, it's really needed the work and we're super excited. Uh, we were able to work with the TWRA and, and get support from Tennessee Department of Ag and Farm Bureau uh, to get this project done. Water's really important because it starts at the top of the hill and passes everybody on the way down. Projects like this are really good for the agriculture community that surrounds a lot of these uh, WMA kind of areas. You know, we want to keep everything open and operating in a natural way. We want to deal with our debris, we want to deal with our sediment, uh, because if we're not handling it responsibly, then it ends up where we don't want it. It ends up in a field or breaking a levee or causing, causing a lot of flood issues. We do see that the common idea or theme or something is that farmers aren't as environmentally sensitive, which is just patently false. Nobody wants to keep their soil in place more than a farmer. Nobody's done more for conservation in West Tennessee than the farmer, uh, than an NRCS, than a Tennessee Department of Ag. You know, those are people putting dollars on the ground, doing projects that are benefiting our rivers. I, I think we're at a place where everything has a tendency to be really divided, but water is very connected. Uh, you know, there, there is no uh, sharp dividing lines. There's, duck hunters and there's farmers and we drink the water and you know, we recreate, we kayak. So anything we can do to get our rivers operating better, functioning better, uh, we like to do those projects because they really are win-wins and they tend to help everybody.